Hi everyone. In this section, we will learn about the image depth. You can check the current image depth by opening image menu and mode. Current image depth is 8 bit. Image depth term is used for the number of colors it can store in the image. It can also be called color depth or pixel depth. In previous section, we saw the gray channels for the color model. We will discuss more about that in this chapter. Generally, we work with 8-bit images. Now, what are 8-bit images? The simplest calculation is multiplication of 2 for 8 times and that becomes 256. So, the 8-bit image has 256 shades of grays having a range from 0 to 255 values in each color channel. We have three channels in RGB. So for a single pixel, it becomes 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals to 24 bit pixel depth. If we calculate the colors in the RGB color model, we have 256 shades of red, 256 shades of green and same number of shades of blue to produce one color image. So an 8-bit RGB image can have 16.7 million colors. Can you imagine if an 8-bit image can store 16.7 million colors, then how many colors a 16-bit image can store? A 16-bit image means in a single color channel, it can store 65,536 shades of gray. So for RGB image, it can store 281 trillion, which comes to exactly this number. This is a very big number, isn't it? You think 16.7 million colors only are too much. Why do we need more than 8-bit images? Well, experts use 16-bit and sometimes 32-bit images to produce superior colors, which are not present in 8-bit images. There are so many colors our eyes can see in real life, but because of the limitation of computer or mobile screens to produce colors, we can't see some shades of the colors on these screens. Let's see an example. Let's create an image having dimension of 500 by 500 pixels with 8 bit depth. and another in 16-bit depth. Let's take only 10 shades of red. We choose the foreground color with RGB values 255, 0 and 0. This will give you pure red. Now in the background color, Choose the color with RGB values 246, 0 and 0. This will give you a little less red. As per the 8-bit image, the difference is only 10 shades. Now select a gradient of foreground to background color and fill it from left to right in both the images. Both the images look the same, right? Now let us adjust the same levels for both the images. Don't worry about the levels panel. We will understand it in detail in upcoming sections. For now, set the shadow input level to 246 so that it can consider this color value as the darkest color for the image. Set it for both the images and see the difference. Check the 8-bit image. You can clearly identify the 10 shades now. If you check the 16-bit image, it has produced more colors between the 10 shades of red. Because we have taken very short range, the 8-bit image with 16.7 million colors has limited colors within that short range. But in the 16-bit image, that short range also has 
millions of colors in between. The CMYK color mode is based on pigment or printer and not on light colors. So it can have fewer colors than an RGB colors can have. So if you work on a graphic you want to print with RGB color mode, it may look excellent with vibrant colors on a computer screen. But when you print that RGB image, it cannot produce the exact or the nearest colors that you see on the screen for sure. A 16-bit color image requires lots of space on the hard disk than an 8-bit image requires. It also requires a special file type to save the color information, though it may not be ideal for all the times. Depending on the image and color model you work, you need to save information in the file. Different file types are required to save different information in the image. So let's talk about relative questions. How many colors an 8-bit image can store? So as we saw earlier, an 8-bit image can store around 16.7 million colors. To be specific, it can store 1677216 colors.